Anilao is a small fourth class municipality of the province of Iloilo with only 21 barangays. But we have been endowed with diverse marine and fishery resources that stretch along the coastline of our seven coastal barangays. Anilao shares a common fishing ground called Banate Bay with our neighboring big municipalities Banate and Barata Nuevo. But despite our size and financial limitations, Anila is rich in passionate and determined people. And we have been fighting hard to protect, preserve, and cultivate our diverse marine and fishery resources. Anilo basically has a complete ecosystem. We have mangrove uh, cover, we have seagrass beds, and now we have the coral transplantation project, which is being introduced as an innovation of the municipality. Uh, coastal Resource Management Program uh, take uh, really its uh, uh, forward actions when we had been partner with the Banati Bay Resource Management Council in 1996. Each of the municipalities were contributing funds and personnel for the project and this has been going on until 2012 where the municipality opted to have their own program. Uh, the municipality of Anila was allotted uh, 600,000 for CY 2016 for the program Coastal Resource Management Program. And then for the year 2017, we have allotted around 650,000. So ang pinaka first namon ng allotment is 150,000 in 2010. Tapos every year nagamat-amat na siya saka until 2016 yung naghimo na siya 600,000. On mangrove rehabilitation, we have a lot of initiatives and the local, national and the provincial level. So most of our initiatives came from the provincial government and the national government through BFAR. So we have uh, more or less 12 hectares already reforested area that has been observed to have a 90% survival rate of the trees planted. And these are located in three barangays, Barangay Pantalan, San Carlos, and Tangulaan. So these are managed by the local government now because it has been funded through BIFAR and the National Greening Program of the provincial government. But it has been already turned over to the local government for protection and management. Artificial reef development, we have a lot of initiatives formerly from through the Banati Bay Resource Management Council and through the JICA funding donor. But uh, recently, we had been a um, beneficiary of a 1.3 million fund from the Bureau of Research and Aquatic Resources that is for the construction and establishment of artificial reef modules. So we have 385 units of concrete artificial reefs that were deployed to the marine sanctuary purposely to rehabilitate the area and protect the area from illegal fishing and for storm source. So uh, projects like mangrove rehabilitation, artificial reef development, 
Marine Protected Area Management are some of the strategies that can address uh, climate change adaptation through coastal resource management. Lynn Montano, the municipal agriculturist of the municipality of Banilao. So the, the livelihood programs ng atong Banwa are the la oyster culture and the um, uh, may aqua silvi man kita and may ara man kita ng um, uh, shrimp paste uh, la processing of uh, sang ginamos. Okay, so ang oyster na ito sa ta talaba na siya, ang pagpadapagpadako uh, na ito sa talaba. Um, ara na siya sa may San, uh, Santa Rita, San, uh, San Carlos, and Sierra Leone. Ako si Julito P. Ad, may pamsis ang barangay Siralyo. Ang oyster culture naman nang pinatagan ako sa project na sanjay ka nga talabahan or oyster. Gintinguhaan ko na na mag-success ang akong nga talabahan para makabulig sa akong pamilya at kabataan. Ang shrimp paste na ito, mayroon kita processing center sa mayana poblasyon. Uh, ini siya nag sa mga ginamos na ginproduce sa ato ng mga fish, uh, fish or pork family. And um, uh, ini siya ginaprocess na ito, ginaluto ka ginabattled uh, na ini siya. Okay, so the, we have the uh, collaborating agencies and, uh, and also the non-governmental organizations at our people's organizations and also the youth of Anilao in the mangrove and the coastal uh, reserve uh, preservation and the protection sa atong uh, coastal areas like sa atong uh, um, mangrove transplantation mangrove uh, rehabilitation natin. Nagabulig din ang aton nga mga people's organization like ang aton nga uh, senior citizens. May arakita nga nagabulig nga ang um, Municipal Agricultural or Fisheries Council, ang Rural Improvement Clubs, and um, sa youth, ara ang aton collaboration sa uh, Senior Red Cross, 
Youth Council of uh, Nilaw National High School nga nagabulig na sila sa uh, pagtanong sa mangroves. And also our Girl Scouts of the Philippines nagabulig man din na sila sa uh, mangrove re rehabilitation. Naka-undergo na sila sa mga projects. No? And we also have collaborations with the uh, academic research agencies like the uh, PhilSci, the UPB, and the... Um, Iskof Barotak Mevo. I'm Denise V. Malutau, Chief Girl Scout Medal Scheme Candidate 2016. And I am her troop leader, Ms. Nevin Joy Villanueva. We are from the Girl Scout Troop 186. So we think of a project that could help um, protect our coastal areas and as well as a project that could help uh, improve and develop our coastal and that is uh, seagrass transplantation. We, we, we believe that the project of uh, seagrass transplantation is one of the best action for the CRM. And we thank our mayor for the support for the project, as well as the Barangay B Farm C and the seven coastal barangays. The seagrass transplantation is one of the action in mitigating our climate change for um, many flash floods have come and go and the numbers of our sea grasses in the in the coastal had had been lessened and this project could help min, uh, maintain and as well as uh, make the numbers of the sea grasses in the coastal area a, li a little bigger for we have come up with 150 square meters of seagrass transplantation last October 5. And as well as uh, our seagrasses uh, are secondary to our uh, mangroves. No? Our, our man mangroves drop the sediments that could come from the coastal. And those sediments that was not filtered by the mangroves is filtered by the seagrasses before they go to the coral reefs. It is, the seagrasses make sure that the, the water that comes to the coral reefs are already clean. I'm Felina Grace Basco, Aquaculturist to Iloilo Provincial Agriculture Office. Um, actually, the Fishery Law Enforcement Program of the Iloilo Provincial Government under the leadership of Governor Arthur Defensor Sr. is the forefront of Iloilo's Coastal Resource Management Initiatives. Um, every year, the province of Iloilo allocates 7 million pesos for the continuous operation and maintenance of the Iloilo Provincial Bantay Daga Task Force. Ako si Hil Miatapal, Bantay Daga at Sang Anilaw, Anilaw, Iloilo. Ang Bantay Dagat program o hilikoto namon, hindi lang natungod sa law enforcement. Nagapatuman sang liye, sang aton nga visceral law. Kag nagabulig ba kami enhance sang mga natural resources nga batamat na nga nagaanubo, nagakaguba. Kag kun hindi naton pagititanon, magka, magkalado lagi. Ang positive po impact sini nagtaas ang aton nga fish cuts nagtaas ang fish cuts ang butsilingon taas ang income ta sa komunidad uh, additional sina may mga bagay kita nga ang researcher na pirmi nagakanto dili sa aton kaya ang aton area madamo sila matunan Uh, ako si Mr. Delpe Nalandoni Jr., uh, punong barangay sa barangay Pantalan, Anilaw, Lilo. Ang um, aktuwali ako isa ka B-Pharmacy Chairman sa barangay Pantalan. Ginilik ako bilang pharmacy chairman sa 2002 na bilang pharmacy sa barangay Pantalan. Ang mas importante sa pharmacy, kagi chairperson sa nga natawag sa barangay, um, makagather sa mga reporting sa barangay, parte sa panagat, pagi 
preserbar sang mga mangroves sa mga gagmay ng mga isda sa ato ng palibot sa kadagatan. So ang licensing uh, for registration ng uh, big purpose parte sa licensing para nga may ang isa ka lehitimo nga mangingisda mangin manggawad siyang lisensya para siya ma-registered ma sa ba barangay nga siya lehitimo nga mangingisda sa barangay kag sa banwasang anilaw. The art program or the Action for Greening and Transformation program is the ridge to reef approach of the Iloilo Provincial Government in mitigating, if not um, stopping, the impacts of uh, climate change um, in the province of Iloilo. Initially, the primary goal of this program is to plant 1 million trees together with the 42 municipalities and one component city of the province. However, as the years passed, it has become an annual um, activity of the province of Iloilo in um, preserving the environment. The province of Iloilo has etched a long-term relationship with the municipality of Anilao, especially in the mangrove reforestation activities. Rest assured that the province of Iloilo will continue its partnership with the municipality of Anilao in creating a healthy and vibrant environment to every Iloilo.